this is Hunter. Hunter is inside the bobcat and doing the flattening, flattening of the ground here. We are in UP, Upper Peninsula, Michigan, and we are observing how the roads are made in regular city of the United States. Yes, this is how it's made. This is the sidewalk. These are not uh, concrete blocks. A machine makes the concrete here on the spot. Now these are the curbs. The curbs. You see these special curbs? Like this. All the way through the entire street. And when there is a garage, when there is a garage here, they made. Special, special. Now these also, these also are made by a special machine. They are not concrete blocks brought from somewhere, some factory. No, they are made here on the spot. Now this is the water. The water here. And then the water. And Hunter, it's flattening the ground around this thing. I've never seen before how the roads are made, but now we know. Now you see, each thing is custom made according to the house. This house has like a little, like a little uh, walkway or a garage way, uh, a way, and then this this is made for them. These are the old concrete sidewalks. This is new. This is new. And this is the new. This is the new sidewalk. You see? This is new. This is old. This is old. This is new. And Hunter is doing the job here. And after the whole street is done, like all this, then everything will be flattened with that machine over there, and then it will be the asphalt. And Hunter is very efficient with the, with the machine, you see? I just talked to him. He said, I work 14 hours a day, long hours to do this work. You see, 14 hours a day to build the streets of the United States. In many cities, we need brand new, brand new roads. This will be brand new road. I will show you how this looks like. Over there, it's done already. So I will go. I'll take a little bit more walk to reflect on the neighborhood. This is a typical neighborhood in a small town. This one is very good neighborhood. Uh, you see, it is about the time that people are coming back home. They play with their kids. They go around and they do jogging. Uh, after hours, it is now, it is now about 6.30 p.m. Uh, 6.30 p.m. It's not Eastern time. It is in mid time. I don't know what it is. But uh, it's about after hours, 6 p.m. Where people come home with their cars. This is a typical house. A small family can live in this house. Like two, three, four, five people. You know. Uh, and here it is. How the street look. This is how the street will look like. This is how it will look like, like this. Oh, you see? That is with the new asphalt. Now, of course, it's a little bit dirty at the moment, but uh, once the first train comes, it will be black. I love black new asphalt. Now, as you see, here there are businesses, local businesses. Uh, no way body shop, whatever it is, some businesses. Now, here, that would be another layer. You see how this is done? Here is the curb. Here is the asphalt, and in between the asphalt and the and the sidewalk, 
there is a another layer and that would be grass it will be beautiful green grass and this is a water sprinkler you see and that would you know this is to absorb the water when water starts falling that is the the soil now these these roads are designed they are designed first they are designed by engineers uh, then they go in drawings it's not like just a guy comes and start you know no no this is a serious serious business the roads of the world and especially the roads in america it's a serious serious business all right building roads for many many years you see in some of the areas they are even like these built in something with this special bolts this is a some sort of plastic non uh to when you walk you don't you don't slip non slippable like a very special thing you know whatever it is i don't know if you know but yes that's how the roads are built and this will be the new sidewalk and here is the property line this is this is the city that may be the owner there's something called property line so the city or the government owns the roads and here is the owner when they buy when they buy a business or a thing they will be a place called property line something like this where the government cannot step and you can put the sign here a private property and from here everybody can walk here this side is public everybody can walk take video take pictures do all kinds of nasty stuff because you know they are in public now once you cross in private property you may be shot you may be shot especially in this area you know in usa north states where everybody carry guns everybody carry guns here and it's free to use them if they are intruders and that's why because of that there's no crime here in this i've heard today that in this town there was one murder in 10 years 10 years one murder that's unbelievable it sounds like the perfect world this is working class people they are working they are doing their job they are building you see this is how it will look it will look like a very very new and very nice you see the grass will be here like this and there you have you're gonna have this intersection for pedestrians the pedestrians can walk here i will show you this will be the new sidewalk you see i don't know if they are rebuilding the entire sidewalks or i don't know why but it looks to me you see they have two patches they left some of the old ones and then they built new ones there i don't know why is that because they have some kind of you see this 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 usually the yellow things are usually marking property line you see maybe this is some kind of property line here yes you see okay now this one let's study this this one say dte buried gas line hand dig you see there's a yes it's not property line it's some gas line hand dig the gas line comes here you know they know all these things those engineers they have schematics of the city and they know where each pipe goes the pipe to this house you see that machine over there that gas i will show you now that's like you see that is the the gas thing that measure how much gas goes in the house and that's it and this thing comes through a pipe and here this is the pipe is under in this side is here and it's on the other side goes to that building so yes uh this is how this is a second video i made another video before this is how the streets of united states of america are built they are pretty uh, interesting in europe where i come from there's nothing like this i have not seen at least in my country uh eastern europe country i have not seen this type of technology building you know uh, that's not american technology probably it's a worldwide technology but uh, particularly here 
uh, I'm very curious about all these stuff. And this is the, actually, I kind of study a little bit roads, but uh, this is the first time I actually see in life, I'm here, right here, and I see how the builds are, how they are building the roads, and then how they will lay the asphalt on the top. Uh, it is strange to me that, you see, the asphalt, the asphalt layer seems to me very, very thin, very thin for this particular road. I don't know why, it just looks to me that is not more than three inches. Yes, it seems to me very thin. Maybe it's not, maybe it's like, uh, maybe it's like five, six, seven inches. I don't know how many inches. And also I've seen in Manhattan, because I lived in Manhattan, Sometimes I have seen how they scrape the old asphalt. There is a machine, a special machine, of course, it's a machine. A special machine, when this asphalt gets very, very old, a machine will come with some, you know, like, a, like nails, like this. Big machine. And will take off the old asphalt and will lay down a new asphalt. This machine... Uh, in the front, it takes the asphalt, throw it in somewhere in the back, putting new asphalt, very uh, sophisticated machine. Anyway, uh, signing off again. Wow, this video, I say, is going to be three seconds, and it's like, again, 12 minutes video, blah, blah, blah. You see these cones here? Yes. Yes, these are for the water, for the this, these things. Yes. There's another one here. You see, there's another one here all right this is a different thing and there's another one so this is for the water and by the way the roads in america are always like this so the water from the middle of the road can go down and it's it's so precise that the water always goes in this in these uh holes here shafts it always goes here in these shafts and it is always go there, so there's no water on the road. You get it? It is, the road is in, constructed in such a way, like, like this, like a curve. It's not flat like you think, flat. It is more like this. You cannot see the curvature now, but it's actually like this. And if you ask any of these guys, they will tell you that the road, you see, maybe, you see, it is like this, like a little curve. And now the sunset is coming, and I have show you the sunset as well. Wow, look at what a beautiful day is today. Today we learn, today we learn how the roads are built, and we also saw the sunset. Fantastic. Signing off your traveling, temporary traveling agent, Ivan, bringing you to all places in the United States and the world.